Hey y'all, when you're on the farm, there's always use for rope or string to be uh, used. And uh, I wanna show you three knots that we use on the farm. These knots are real simple knots to use. If you're, uh, if you got any kind of farm, hobby farm, if you have chickens, gardening, anything like that, I'm gonna show you three different knots that we use. Um, one of them's called a taut line, one's a clove hitch, and one is the bowline. And uh, I'll show you the bowline knot first. They're real easy to use. You'll use them all the time. So let's get going. But before we get started, I ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Those help. I ask you to follow along here at Our Life at Hidden Meadow Farm. Now let's get to tying some knots. All right, the first knot that we're going to tie is called the bowline. Now the bowline is also called a rescuer's knot. And uh, anyway, this is a knot that the knot will not slip on it. Once you tie this, it will not slip. So first is a bowline. This is the way you tie a bowline. You have your the loose end and the dead end. Kind of hold it in your hand like this between your fingers. Now, the reason you hold it between your fingers like this, you're going to be wrapping it around this one here. And to do that, you go behind it, go down in it like you're scooping something out of a jar. So you go down in, and as you come back out, you twist it. So you're going to twist a loop in the rope like that. So you go down behind and twist. Then you have the loose end here. You have this end there. So you go around that one go around it and then go back through the loop and pull it tight john sakovich with farm market solutions uh, i learned this from him go check out his channel farm market solutions and um, this is the way he says it think as you're scooping out peanut butter out of a jar think of it as you're going a rabbit coming out of the hole around the tree and back into the hole so here we go Hold your string between your fingers. Hold the other end up here. Go down in the jar of peanut butter, scoop it out. Take the rabbit, go around the tree, go back down in, back down in the hole. Pull it tight. Now when you finish, because it's a rescuer's knot, this kind of reminds you of a life vest. See how it's wrapped around that? No matter how hard you pull, that, that knot will not slip. It will not slip up and down the rope. It's there. Now, to break this knot apart, all you have to do is turn it around on the back side. This little part here, just, just slide it up like that. That's so all you have to do is just slide it up, and it'll come right out. One more time. Hold it in your hand, scoop, come out of the hole, round the tree, back down in the hole, pull it tight. That's your rescuer's knot or bowline knot. Okay, the next knot that I'm going to show you is called the clove hitch. Now the clove hitch is used when you're tying a rope or string around uh, most time like a cable from up top hanging it down lots of people use this um, They tie a string to a cable and run it down to the, to the uh, ground and let their string beans run up it or tomatoes or something like that So if you're a homeowner um, Gardener hobby farmer homesteader, whatever you call yourself. This is a knot that you can use Now to do the clove hitch you can take your string or rope go over then you're gonna cross over, gonna make a cross, come back under, then you're gonna pick the whole thing up, run your string back up through there, pull it tight like that. Now that's called a clove hitch. Now that we uh that'll hold up, you can run it down to the ground. 
string beans run up it. If you're hanging a feeder in your chicken coop, you can wrap it around something up top, tight like that. And that's the way you do a clove hitch. I'll do it one more time for you. Remember, go over, make a cross. Pick it up. Do it with my the other hand so you can see. Go over. Cross over. Come pick it up. Run it up through there and just pull it tight. That's a clove hitch. Now the other knot is my favorite and it's called a taut line. Now I use the taut line if I'm uh, hanging a chicken feeder or a chicken waterer or something like that. This is a knot that can be adjusted up and down the stream and by doing that it adjusts the height of the chicken feeder or the height of the water, whatever you use. I use it on my chicken waterer and on my feeders. I tie the clove hitch at the top then I run the string down and to do the knot at the bottom, I'll show you how to do the top line. Okay, to do the top line, first of all, we're gonna do our clove hitch up at the top. This is tying off a, our waterer or chicken feeder would tie it up at the top like that. We're gonna pretend that this roll of barbed wire is our water or bucket or feeder all right to do this you're gonna wrap wrap the string you're gonna make a loop like like that you can wrap the string through here three times. One, two, three. So you're gonna have a little barrel with three in it like that. Then you go up above the, the barrel and you're gonna wrap it in the opposite direction one time. Like that. kind of hard to do with this now that will hold hold a water chicken feeder whatever now if I wanted to raise it up off the ground all I have to do is just pull up on it and it'll hold there it it, it won't come loose it won't slide down. It's, it's there. If I want to lower it, just grab the knot. Slide it down like that. And it'll lower it ever how low you want it. Raise it up. And it's there. Just so you can see the knot, this is what the knot will look like. All right, I'm gonna tie it one more time. Okay, I'm gonna tie it, and uh, so you can see a close-up. You're gonna go around one, two, three times. So you got it three like that. Then you're going above it, and you're you went this way on the that those. On this one, you're going the opposite direction. You're just gonna pull it down like that. And that is called the taut line. And that way it'll slide up, hold, or you can slide it down and it'll hold. Slide it up.
or down. That way you can adjust the height of your feeder, the height of your water, whatever you're uh, tying up that you need to adjust. I think this will help you. This is three knots that you will use on the farm all the time. So get you a piece of rope, practice them, and use them because they are real handy. Hope you like this video. I ask you to please like, share, subscribe. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.